Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so we have some errands that I need to run today, some things I need to do um, in regards to the snails that are in my new planted tank that I have. You guys know that I did a 10 gallon planted tank a few weeks ago and I have snails in it that came in on my plants. They're basically pest snails. So basically, um, I have been wrecking my brain on what to do with these snails because honestly, it's kind of a long story. So I guess we can discuss it while I drive to the pet store because we do have to go to Petco and also Pet Smart today. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe down below and also hit the notification bell because we are on a journey, a fish tank journey. Yes, yeah, so let's get going. And while we are driving to the store, I will explain to you guys, I guess, where my mind is at and what's going on and like what we're doing today. So what's going on basically is we are going to Petco first. Um, I need to get another carbon cartridge for my aqua clear fluval filter um, that's in my 10 gallon tank. Basically, I'm just going to get another carbon filter so that I can replace it. Um, the carbon filter takes out toxins in the water, and I want to get a backup. So we're going to get one of those. Um, I'm also going to look at the snails at Petco um, because I know that they sell snails, and they're always, like, really pretty and really big. So we're going to look at them again that's something separate that I'll have to go into detail and explain. And we're also going to Pet Smart because I think they have a better selection than my Petco of those tiny little like one and two gallon uh, fish tanks that they keep, which are basically too small to actually keep fish in, but they're great for snails. So I'm considering getting a small tank and I'll go into detail about that. So basically where my mind is at um, with the snail situation is as soon as I made my video showing you guys the snails, I had like every single comment on that video saying, oh my gosh, they're so cute, but be careful because they breed faster than any other type of snail essentially and they will basically multiply and one day you'll wake up and just have 300 and you won't even be able to see through the glass. Like you just have to be really careful. So I'm fully aware of that and I know that pond snails or bladder snails, which is the snail that I have. Um, I know that they do breed really, really fast, and I know that that's something that I've been warned about, and I'm and I'm considering, and I'm thinking about it. But the hard part is, is that I can't stop feeding this tank. Technically, like the fish food. By the way, I'm getting a different fish food today as well. Another thing that's been happening. So basically, this video has like 52 updates. <laughs> um, I know that the bladder snails um, reproduce at a really fast rate. The problem with me not being able to stop feeding them to keep their numbers down is that I have to feed that tank in order to cycle my filter media so that I can get my second tank. Like, that's basically the whole thing. I also want to get shrimp for this tank. I have to, like, season the filter. I have to get up that good bacteria that will take down my ammonia levels and, and all of that. So, basically, I can't really stop feeding this tank, but that's going to cause me to have a bladder snail explosion. So I'm kind of up against a wall with it. One of the options I have is to just let the snails do whatever they want. Like keep feeding it, keep cycling it. And then if a snail explosion happens or when a snail explosion happens, just dealing with it, you know, and like just letting it happen and that be that. That's one option. Um, that is not my favorite option <laughs> only because I do not have a use for 300, 400 bladder snails. Also, they're not technically the type of snail I actually wanted to have in there. Also, I don't have any way to like feed them off. I don't have anything that can eat them. I don't have, I don't have the heart to freaking freeze them. I'm not gonna freeze all of these snails. You know, like it's just really not my style. That's option one. Option two is if I had something to feed them to, like if I had some sort of a carnivorous fish that could eat them. I don't have a carnivorous fish that could eat them, so that's not really an option. Also, I don't want to buy a fish that, that I don't really want, and I also don't have a huge tank to set up for a fish that would need that. So, like, that's option two, but, like, not really an option, you know what I mean? Option three is I could get a assassin snail and basically just wipe out all the snails in that tank. So I could just go get an assassin snail, put it in there, and then wipe the tank out. The problem with option three is basically I kind of want these snails, but I didn't want them right now. Like I did initially want this tank to be a snail and shrimp tank, but just not right now. Like it's not even finished cycling. I think I still have at least one or two more weeks in my cycle process. Um, so 
that's why option three doesn't really seem plausible. So I came up with option four, option D if you will, plan D. Not plan B, not plan C, but plan D. And that's what we're implementing today. So I wanted to find a way that I could basically keep these snails, but also keep my 10 gallon tank free of them but also have them for a future purpose to where if I wanted to move them back into the 10 gallon later, I could. So today we are going and buying a small fish tank with a filter and everything for my snails. I know this probably seems absolutely ridiculous and no, this is not the second tank I keep talking about. This will be a third tank because I will have three fish tanks, technically one snail tank and two fish tanks. Um, because this is the only solution that I can think of. What's funny is a ton of people warned me about fish tank fever. They were like, once you get one, you're gonna want another one and another one. And I was like, no, like, no, I just want one tank. I just want one, it'll be fine. And then I was like, okay, well technically I need two. Like I need two tanks. I need one for snails and shrimp and one for fish. And now I'm like, no, I need one for my snails, one for my snails and shrimp, and then one for fish. So now I'll have three tanks. So right now, I'm on my way to the store to get my second tank. Now granted, this tank is gonna be very tiny. It's gonna be like maybe two gallons. I think that's what I'm gonna get. And I'm gonna be moving my biggest snails in there. So with all of that said, and with all my rambling just on the table, this is the facts, this is what's happening. I think that my best solution that I can come up with is to get a small one or two gallon tank, move my snails into there, they can breed, they can eat, sleep, live, climb, breed, they can do whatever they want. They can triple their numbers in three days if that's what they feel like doing. But it won't affect my 10 gallon tank, number one. Number two, I will still be able to feed and cycle the tank without worrying about a snail explosion in it. Number three, I won't have to worry about them eating all of my plants because I am really, really worried about a lot of the plants I have in this tank. I wanted to transfer them into my big tank eventually. Like that was the whole purpose of doing a small planted tank is so that when these plants grow and mature, I can move them into the big tank. Well, if there's 300 snails in this 10 gallon tank in a few weeks and they're eating all of my plants or if they're just all over the plants, that's really not gonna be good for my big tank. I don't want to like destroy my big tank or destroy all my plants. So, with all that being said, but this is the best solution that I can come up with where I'm not killing them all, but that I can also get them back if I want them later. This is like the best solution I can come up with. Um, and I also really want to save my ram's horn because he's really big and I like him. So I feel like this is the best solution for him too. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. We're almost to Petco. So here we go. I really wish I had these Nearite snails. They're so beautiful. Those are the snails I want and I will probably get eventually. They're so pretty. I love them. All right, let's look at some tiny fish tanks. Fish tanks, tanks that are too small for fish. Let's see if we can find an inexpensive one. These are a little pricey. Like even that is 31. That's like really expensive actually. There's a two and a half. That's not too bad. That's too bad. I don't even need anything and I'm like, yas, let's look at them. It's all empty, they don't have anything. You should not be here, buddy. There it is. We have bites tropical. Oh my God. Look how cute. You're saying six months to a year, so like four to six months. <laughs> We're at PetSmart. Gonna go get a snail tank. Fish, hi goldfish, you're so cute. Hi, oh, you're so cute. Oh, I love them, I love them, I love you. I love you. So this is the tank that I really want, but I hate the stand, that's ugly, but I really want this tank. I want one of these. I'm gonna get another carbon filter. We're gonna get one of those. Yes, okay, here's where we needed to be. PetSmart has tons and tons and tons of small tanks. I really like this one, and actually it looks like it's on sale, so actually really considering this one. That's like a discounted price too, so that's actually pretty nice. Might get this one. These, even though I really don't like the dividers at all, so I probably would just get this one. 
Okay, so we just left PetSmart. I'm gonna show you guys quickly everything that I bought today. I got this little two gallon top fin tank. Um, it does have a bunch of different lights you can change colors on, so I thought that was pretty nice. And it was on sale for $20. Really inexpensive, at least in my opinion. Um, and this is gonna be the snail's tank. I also had to get a vacuum um, to siphon out water from my tank for cleaning and water changes. So I did go on and get that because I've been putting that off for a long time. And then as far as like the little stuff that I got in the way of filter media and things like that, I did get this tiny little fluval sponge. This is just a little bit of extra sponge to put into my filter. I'm gonna be putting this sponge in the snail filter because the filter that comes with this tank is has the little cartridges, but they're really crappy. So I'm gonna put this in the snail filter. I also got another bag of carbon. This is gonna be for the big tank. However, I'm not gonna be changing it out right now. Um, this is just extra to have on hand to pull toxins out of the water. And then I also got this little bitty rock. This is for the snails again. I do see them loving to hide and things like that. So I did get this to put in there so they can go in it and hide and things like that. And then the last thing I got is some fish bites food. I'm gonna continue cycling my tank with this. And then I'll also probably sprinkle this in the snail tank. Um, I guess just to cycle the snail tank media that I'm gonna put in there, it can't hurt to have an extra filter going anyway. So I'm probably gonna feed these snails with this. And then whenever it starts to break down, they can eat it. Um, and then I am gonna to continue cycling with this food because it's a better quality food than the one that I'm using um yeah so I'm definitely gonna be using that but that is everything that I bought today I'm pretty excited to set up the snail tank I'll be doing that within the next couple days probably not today but I will be doing it soon and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it I will see you guys next time be kind bye